Hello, in this short video I'll show you how you can use Plumber to create maintainable and production ready pipelines. To create a project from scratch, I'll execute the Plumber scaffold command. And I'll give it some name. I'll call this demo. I move to that folder. This command generates a bunch of files for me. One of the most important ones is the pipeline jaml file. This file is where we declare all the tasks in our pipeline. Plumber also has a Python API, but for this example, I'll focus on the pipeline jaml API. This is a sample pipeline that I prepared. You can see that it has three tasks, get, clean, and plot. Why are we doing this? If we put all our code in a single Python script or notebook, it gets really hard to maintain and collaborate. By breaking down the logic into smaller steps, things get a lot easier for us. An important detail is that we are using .py files as source code, instead of traditional ifimb files. However, we can still open these .py files as notebooks and I'll show that in a second. The main benefit of using .py files is that they play nicely with Git, which doesn't happen with traditional ifimb files. Each task has two components, source and product. Product are the outputs that we want to generate from our dot .py file. You can see that my get.py file is generating a CSV file because it's loading some data and it's saving that into a CSV file. A second output is this ipymb file, which is a Jupyter notebook. Why is that happening? That's because Plumber orchestrates execution and it's going to convert your .py file into a Jupyter notebook and then execute it. So if your .py file has any charts or tables, you're going to get that as part of your pipeline execution. Plumber also supports functions and SQL scripts as tasks, but for this example, I'll focus on Python scripts. The same logic applies for the other two tasks, clean and plot. Let me go back to the command line and execute Plumber scaffold again. Since we already have a pipeline jaml file, this time Plumber creates all the missing task files, get, clean and plot. I can right click on my get.py, open with notebook. One important thing to see here is that Plumber is automatically adding this information for me. Remember that in our pipeline jaml file, we specified that we have two outputs. Plumber is going to generate the ipymb file, but we have to generate the csv file. So Plumber takes this information and puts it here in the notebook for us. Now I can execute this. And let me bring a few lines of code that load and save some data into a CSV file. Let me create my output folder first. And now I can execute my code. Okay, so let's go to the next task, clean.py. So let me do right click, open with notebook. If I'm going to be cleaning my data, I need to load the output from get.py. So I'll edit this special upstream variable and say it that I want to execute get.py first. I could have more dependencies, but in this case, only have, I only have one. The next line, product equals none, is just a placeholder. Once we reload this, we have all the information that we need. We have these two elements. The first one is upstream, which contains the input paths. And the second one is product, which contains the output paths. This is extracted from pipeline jaml. Now, let me copy some sample lines of code that load the raw data apply some filter, and then save the result into a new CSV file. Okay, so I have to execute this one, and then this one. Okay, great. Now let's go to the next task, plot.py. Open with notebook. To the final task, plot.py. We repeat the same reasoning. Now we have to get our clean data, so let me edit this. Remember, product equals none is a placeholder. Let me reload the file. And now I have my inputs, let me paste some code that generates some chart, let me run it, and okay, we have our chart. Jupyter is really flexible, however this comes with a cost. Sometimes we may run things out of order and break our notebooks, and unfortunately that happens often. So to make sure that we don't have any issues, I can come back to my, the command line and execute plumber build. This is going to execute the pipeline from start to finish, so let's see what happens. Okay, it's executing get, clean and finally plot. Okay, great, we don't have any issues in our code. Let's go to the output folder. And remember, our plot.py file is generating report.ipymb. So if I open report.ipymb, I can see my output chart. 
Analyzing data is an iterative process. Often, we want to make small changes and see how that affects our final result. In this case, our final result is this chart. So let's imagine that I don't like the blue color anymore and I change it. So I make color equals orange. I only edit the plot.py file, but I haven't executed my pipeline from the command line. So let's go back to the terminal. So I execute plumber build to regenerate my outputs. I want to update report.ipynb. So note what's happening. Bloomberg only executed plot.py. Since I didn't modify get.py or clean.py, Bloomberg knows that they are going to generate the same output, so it's skipping them. In the long run, this saves a lot of time because most of our experiments are going to be small changes to the pipeline, and this accelerates iteration a lot. Let me close this and open it again to see the new version. Okay, we updated our final report you can see that it has a different color. Finally, we can get a graphical representation from our pipeline by executing Plumber plot. And we can see that we have get, clean, and plot. That's it. In just a few minutes, we created a maintainable and production-ready pipeline, which you can deploy to the cloud. Read our documentation to learn more. Thanks for watching.